The dash a digi, the schedule busy. My head in a hoodie, my shorty a goodie. My cousins are crazy, my cousins like boogie. Life is amazing, it is what it should be. Been here for ten, but I feel like a rookie. I tell her look up, cause it's snowing in tussies. But for three years, man, you can't even book me. It's me and little baby, the shit going crazy. Hey ladies, welcome to my channel. And if there are any guys watching, welcome to my channel. Also, today I'm going to show you all how I do the watercolor method. Now I have done a watercolor method before, but I never done it in an ombre way. So this is my first time and I decided to record it so yeah here is Queen Love hair from Aliexpress this is for my client this is not for me and she decided to get the Brazilian body wave with a 18 inch closure now this 18 inch closure it did seem kind of thin so I was a little bit skeptical whether or not it was going to be enough but it turned out okay um, and then she got a 22 inch bundle a 24 inch bundle and a 26 inch bundle now you know how the longer the inches, the less hair you get. It was kind of weird because the 22 inch seemed so thin. Like I got so much hair with the 26 and the 24, but the 22 inch, it just seemed really thin. Also, I do want to add that this hair, it was pretty silky and soft, but it was like working with baby doll hair. It just seemed like I was combing my Barbie doll. It, it didn't seem like good quality hair, but it was pretty bouncy. Also, I do want to add that it shed it so much while making this wig. Guys, you know I hate shedding, but this hair shed it. I had a handful of hair in my hand just making the wig. So I'm going to show y'all what I experienced. It is silky, it is flowy, but like I said, it was like working with baby doll hair and I don't do shedding. I don't do shedding. It's, it's the worst. And if I'm getting this much just by making a wig, imagine when I start wearing it on my head. No. So I said all that to say this. Would I recommend this hair? But the wig still turned out great. Her lifespan might be short, but she still turned out beautiful. <laughs> so yeah, this is what the wig is looking like. And here is a picture of the hair inspiration that we found, but I decided to add my own little twist to it. Starting off, what I'm going to be doing is dyeing the roots on this wig black. And you can get this particular root box from CVS. And doing this is perfect because being that her hair is black, if she wanted to pull some of her edges out to make it look a lot more natural like a frontal, she could do so. Now for dyeing the roots, I'm not going to be just dyeing the roots on the closure. What I'm going to do is start two tracks, two rows of tracks down below the closure. Just so that it looks more blended in and it's not just, you know, if she was to move her hair some, you'll still see some of the roots of black and it wouldn't just be black closure and then you move the hair and then you see just straight green going up to the roots. I feel like that would look very tacky. <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm starting at two tracks down below the closure and I'm just dabbing it down on the beginning of the track, the top of the track, and I'm using a rat tail comb to comb through it and blend through it so that it's not a blunt line. And I'll be doing this all the way up until I get to the closure and I let it sit for about 10 minutes before I rinse it out. And um, I rinsed it twice. I didn't condition or anything. I just used shampoo and then I let it air dry. And this is after the hair has been shampooed twice and air dried. It is still a little bit damp, but it's mainly dry. The shampoo that I used was the Shimmer Lights Purple Shampoo, so that's why the hair is kind of tinted gray. And the two colors that we're going with today is Emerald and Electric Lime by Adore. So now, five hours later, <laughs> we are finally starting the watercolor process. So yes, I am starting off with hot water. As you can see, the steam, this water was boiled, so do be very, very careful. I heard you can do it with just warm water from the sink, but I feel like you'll get better results with hot water, so that's what I'm using today. 
and um, I am going to be starting off with the emerald and then the electric line. The picture had the electric line at the top and the emerald at the bottom, but I want it to go from dark to light. So I have dark roots, the emerald, and then the electric line at the bottom. And I did put some of the dye into the sink and I tested it out. I felt like I needed some more to give it more of a more vibrant effect. So I added a little bit more. I started around with the little comb and what I'm going to be doing is submerging the wig into the water. Also, as you can see, I have a rubber band where I want the color to stop as like a little pointer. So I'll be using that and I'm taking my hands or a comb if the water is too hot and I'm splashing it to where that rubber band stops so that air, there is not a blunt line from the color emerald to the electric line. There is a good smooth transition from emerald to electric line. And as you can see here, I'm separated here and making sure that I deposit the color on each strand, even inside the wig. You have to make sure that you get inside of the wig because you will be really mad <laughs> when you finish and you have spots of um, hair that doesn't have any color on it whatsoever. So yeah, make sure that you separate the hair and um, uh, get the color in between the wig as well. So what I'm doing here is I am repeating the same process with Emerald again because the first time the color didn't come out as vibrant. So if you want it even more vibrant, you do have to repeat the process. So that's what I'm doing here. I just dipped the hair again in Emerald. And if anybody's wondering, I end up using a bottle and a half of each color. So I didn't use all of the second bottle. And what I'm doing is I'm wringing out the hair and I'm going to drain the sink and I'm going to prep the sink and wash the sink out for the next color. So now we are going to be repeating the same process again with a new color. And as you can see, I'm starting off with boiling hot water. And then I'm going to be putting the electric lime into the water this time. Um, I did take this color a little bit slow because I knew regardless, because it is lime, the color was going to come out real vibrant and pigmenty, if that's even a word. <laughs> So yeah, um, I did take the color slow and what I'm doing here is dipping the wig into the water. Now this time it's a little bit easier because you don't have to do too much. You just have to dip it and then comb through it. Um, you don't have to separate the hair and all that extra stuff I was doing the first time. So yeah, um, I'm just dipping the hair um, and I'm taking my comb and combing through it, making sure it's not getting tangled as I'm dipping it. And also making sure that the color is distributing on each strand. And as I go along, I'm going to be adding more electric lime to the water until I get the desired color that I'm looking for. And while I'm doing this, I do want to talk to you guys about my channel. Um, I do apologize for not being consistent, but I have been running into a lot of technical issues. Um, there's still a whole video I haven't posted yet because of the technical errors that I'm running into. And if you didn't know before, you know now I run this channel off of my iPhone. So yes, there are going to be technical issues that I run into um, versus working on a laptop or a computer. Um, I do want to add also that um, I do want to change my content up a little bit. So I don't just want to be posting weave and wigs. I do want to get more into natural um, hairstyles also because I am natural. I have been natural for four or five years. So yeah, once I get my hair to where I need it to be at and to show the world, I'll get more into the natural hair videos also and do other stuff like skincare routines and um, fashion hauls, stuff like that, just to switch it up some. And also soon I will be changing on my intro. So hopefully by the next time I post my next video, I'll have a brand new intro. So yeah, thank you to the ones who have been sticking around and have stayed subscribed to my channel despite my inconsistency. And um, for the ones that's watching now and hasn't subscribed, make sure that you do subscribe to my channel because there are going to be changes coming to my channel and I am going to become more serious. So here um, I'm going to be using the silicone mix. I'm not using the original one. I'm using the one with the argan oil in it. 
and um this is a reconstructor so this is a good conditioner so it's going to reconstruct and repair all the damage that this wig has been through from dyeing the roots and the hot water and also from dyeing the hair with the adore colors it's going to reconstruct and bring it back to life and also soften the hair again as well so i'm putting this all over the hair i'm combing through it and then i'm going to let it sit for 30 minutes to an hour and then air dry it And this is what the hair is looking like after it's been deep conditioned and air dried and brushed out. So I was just sitting here debating whether or not I should straighten her out or if I should add some curls to it. But I'm looking at the color like this color is popping. Like it's so vibrant and pretty in person. My ring light is washing it out. So you're not getting the full effect on what this color is looking like. The sun was gone so I couldn't show y'all how it looked in the sun. But this color is so vibrant. So I said I'm just going to add some curls to her because this hair is too pretty to just be straight. So I brought my curly wand out. Um, and you don't need no any special type of curly wand. I got this curly wand from my local beauty supply store. So as long as it gets hot and it curls and gets the job done, that's all you need. <laughs> so yeah, I'm taking um, small pieces, sections of the wig. Uh, so I separated the back of the wig and then I'm taking small sections and curling it around my curly wand. And um, after I curl it, I'm going to let it sit in my hand for about five to 10 seconds until it cools off. And then I'm going to drop the curl down. And once I finish coloring the entire head, what I'm doing is taking my got to be, um, excuse me. <laughs> I'm going to be taking my got to be free spray and setting the curls in place. And then I'm going to be taking my argan oil so that I can um, soften the hair up and add shine to the hair as well, as well as bring back moisture to the hair. So now the wig is completely curled and this took me about 30 minutes to do. And now I'm going to freeze these curls in place with my got to be free spray. And this is just to expand the lifespan of the curls so that they don't drop the same day that you did them. And now I'm adding in my argan oil from the one and only line. And this is um, to add shine, to add moisture and also reduce any frizziness. And I went ahead and inserted a picture of the color, how vibrant it is, and the curls since it shows better on picture versus video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this watercolor process as much as I enjoyed creating this wig. I enjoyed creating this wig. I enjoyed the experience. I enjoyed doing this wig for my client. Like I had a really, really fun time and I would definitely do this watercolor process again and also create more videos on the watercolor method. Also for the ones that may be wondering what kind of hair is in my head, it's the same hair that I used in my full ponytail video. I just bleached it. So if you want more of the details on this hair, then check out that video. Um, also, um, make sure that you do subscribe, um, thumbs up this video, um, leave any comments in the comment sections, any suggestions, any videos that you all want me to, want to see me do. Just leave it all in the comment section. And stay tuned for any new content that I have coming to my channel. And also hit that bell for notifications when I do post on this channel. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy watching and stay tuned for my next video. Bye guys.